right? Uh, yeah. So I have from I am getting married. Yeah. To my husband or to be my husband to here. And Are you Muslim already? No, I'm going to take my Muslim vow the night before my wedding. Sure. Right? But there are certain things I'm concerned about with fertility. He wants children. And I'm going to get test results and I'm not sure, depending on what the results will be, is um, I might need a surrogate. But that's what I'm So they say again? Uh, um, surrogate for a baby, someone to carry the baby. Ah, okay. But, I can't. but that's what I'm To be honest, I don't have the knowledge in this field. No, I don't have. So maybe you can speak to. You know, it, it's, go, it's about. It's about. Go to is, have, do you know it's not a boss? It's my egg. It's my egg. Don't think it's haram. It's a turret. Look, look. I, I tell you, sister, one thing. Yeah. In Islam, we are not allowed to talk without knowledge. Yeah. Right. Right. So I don't have any any room for a opinion here. When God's books and God sent messenger, we completed the religion. So that's why maybe speak to someone yes. and I would say maybe speak to the Imams they are uh, specializing in this area our okay. specialization is more on speaking to the non-muslim why Islam is the best religion and these are the matter of fiqh which is daily essential you know there are lots of opinion there and in order to yeah, give your you know, verdict you the, oh, exactly exactly wrong. yeah yeah but my question to you sister are you taking Islam because of him or are you taking Islam because of it is truth? I'm taking out like this. I have always been open to Islam, but I never could decide on Islam. And since I've met him, I love Islam more. Right. So you could say he's the reason why I'm not ready. But does it make sense, the concept of Islam? So there is one God makes sense God sent messenger makes sense God sent books okay, makes sense put this way. Jesus being a prophet than more than the Messiah makes more sense to me than Christianity Jesus uh, so you see him as a messenger of God I see him as a messenger of God not a son of God correct so we don't say God have a son in fact Quran the idea Allah said Lam yalid wa lam yulad. means he does not have a father neither he has a child so it's a clear-cut reputation here, right? Uh, no. So Jesus, when we say son, then God must have a wife. But how can God have a son when God have no wife? Yes. Simple reason. Islam yeah. makes more sense. Exactly. Now, if the things make sense to you, why do you delay up until the marriage date? Why not now? Visa. What do you mean? You mean that we have to, he's on student visa. Okay. So we're trying to get it to the team. And we are going to an appointment next week, but they tell me that I may have to wait 70 days. Because you have to give notice of marriage? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason. No, but what you can do is, you know, in Islamic marriage, yeah. is a different one. I know. And then one is court marriage, which, not court marriage, I think is uh, marriage registry, right? Yeah. The Islamic marriage, in the sight of Allah, you both can talk to each other. And because, you know, in Islam doesn't allow to have dating and you know, free dating outside of marriage. Yeah, but only for the purpose of marriage, you can sit down together with someone else there in presence of someone else. Well, you see, most of our relationship is online. Okay. So we've never I've only met once. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, you know, we, we say when two person talk, there's also shaitan there. Yeah. And and it can divert your mind because human we cannot control our emotions sometimes right yeah. so i would say make the testimony as soon as you can because okay. look end of the day death is something inevitable it will visit us soon or later but we need to make the step once you die like imagine if you if any of us die we don't take our family to our grave do you we go alone so that means we need to make our decision alone because the salvation God will ask the salvation question to me directly so Allah will say what happened why don't you prostrate to me I have given you so much I didn't get any payment from you 
no money given to me. Of course, he doesn't need money. <laughs> he doesn't need money, but where is the gratitude? That's why I started my prayers. Are you starting doing salah? Yeah. Five daily? I'm starting, I started off once, now I'm doing twice slowly so that I get... Yeah. I don't want to do five a day and then quit. But, but, but I tell you, in order to receive the benefit fully, mm -hmm. you need to take the testimony. Okay. Would you like to do it now? No, I will do it uh, after my husband and I get born, like, married. Yeah, today. but like I said, don't delay it, sister, because it has a consequences. I know, that's why I'm flying over to see him and to support our marriage. Yeah, but since I'm, I'm glad that you're not just taking the decision based on him, you're taking the decision based on what you have believed and realized that Islam is the truth. What he has shown me of Islam is. Yes. yes. Is there anything that you think you need clarification? No, I just need to make peace with a few things in my life and I think then I'll be ready. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish you all the best. In the month of Ramadan, we are fasting. And I hope. I know, I'm fasting too. Oh, that's good, mashallah. So I hope all the best for you and you know, ask God that God gives you uh, all the best for your and your family and whatever you wanted and whatever you wished. Uh, on that note, I'll let you go, sister. Look okay. after yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, we are end of Ramadan. And um, please make dua for our brothers and sisters in Palestine and all over the world. Uh, I mean, it's, it's such traumatic to see the children are suffering in Palestine, in Gaza. At least we can do dua. So please remember them in their duas and do give charity if you can. You know, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. About the conversation. About the conversation. Um, she's connected with someone who's Muslim and this led her to look into Islam. So she looked into Islam as well and it makes more sense and she specifically said that it makes no sense that God have a son. And look at the fitrah, the understanding of it, that Allah said, Lam yalid wa lam yurad. He cannot have a son, neither he has father, right? So, and Allah also said, how can he have a son when he has no wife in the Quran? So, it's, it's simple, you know, it goes in line with the fitrah. So, I ask that Allah grant her all the best in her life. And the reason why I ask that question, I said, if you wanted to commit to a faith, do not commit to a faith just because you love him. If the faith makes sense, then you commit it. And that's the important. But of course, alhamdulillah, the brother have shown to her the good side of Islam and she was learning. And alhamdulillah, please make dua that may Allah make everything easy for her. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.